Hola, amigos y amigas. Hey, how's it going? I'm out in the garden again, and I want to show you something that I planted with all of you earlier this summer. So maybe you remember some of the eggshell and egg carton seeds we planted. These were some cucumber seeds that my daughter and I planted that I'm going to go put in our garden bed. I also planted some broccoli. So there's lots of little starts here and I'll have to separate them out before I put them in the ground. I have planted some turnips as well, but guess what happened? One day it was really hot and I didn't water them and they all died. So I had to replant them, but there are some that are growing again, so that's good. These are really big and ready to go. And I'll take the little eggshells and I'll stick them in the ground. So, lots of things are ready for the garden, but something that I've started doing is making a map. So maps are used to study the land, like the world map that you saw earlier or the globe, but you can also make a map of things around your house. And I've started a map here for the garden bed so I'll know what I put in certain places and I'll know what vegetables there are in that garden. So this is garden bed number one. And right here we have beans planted, we have mint planted, I also have flowers planted in this garden because I want to have as many pollinators as possible come to this garden. Pollinators are little flying bugs and birds like bees and butterflies and little hummingbirds that come and eat the nectar and carry pollen from one plant to another. So I also have tomatoes, more flowers, and carrots here. Next, I'm going to put some cucumbers in and I'll mark them on my map to remember what I had planted in that particular spot. Okay, so now I marked C for cucumbers where I put cucumbers right there in the ground in the map. I wrote it in the key and each one of these little symbols represents a certain type of vegetable on my map. These little happy starts, they're peas and they are ready to go. So in that empty spot in the middle, I'm going to plant these. And hmm, what will I use for a symbol for peas? Why don't I now use the letter P? That will work. Okay, I'll get them in the ground and then you can see my map and the vegetable garden. Let me show you what I do before I put it in the ground. Do you see how the egg shell works as a little container for this pea? Before I stick it in the ground, I do a little crack. And my crack open the bottom. Look what's growing. Do you see? Those are the roots. Now the roots can escape and the plant still has a tiny little container that it sits in when it goes into the ground. And the eggshells are good fertilizer for the plant as well. Pretty cool, huh? So there it is, a map of my garden. And there's the garden. So if we look at the symbols in the map key right here, the X symbolizes green beans. These purple and orange cloud-like designs are flowers, and I put the flowers right there. The next thing are the carrots, and they're alongside, and you can see that they grow right along there. Those are the carrots on the map. The tomato is right in the center. There's the tomato plant. And the cucumbers are some ones that we you saw me plant already. And the peas are right here. And the mint is right here. All of which you can see these symbols in the map key. 
And there are the little peas I just planted in a kind of a Z-like shape. And there are the mint plants. So I look forward to sharing my garden with you as it grows.